The effort is being led by Connecticut State Treasurer and the Ford Foundation. And joining us now is Ford Foundation President Darren Walker. Separately, the foundation last week launched a new multi-million dollar care fund with eight other organizations. Mr. Walker, good to have you uh, this morning. Tell me a bit about this effort uh, led by the Connecticut State Treasurer and yourself in terms of getting these financial institutions to commit more in terms of at least lending and everything else to these communities. Well, thank you. The effort with the Connecticut State Treasurer Wooden is an effort to elevate uh, as priorities for corporate policy, diversity, inclusion uh, in both their internal practices and how they deal externally. The effort is intended to diversify uh, the ranks of, of staff and professionals, to increase hiring, and to ensure that African Americans and communities who traditionally have been locked out of wealth creating uh, activities are, are encouraged to do that. And how is it going to actually work? It's going to work in two ways. One, internally, um, those corporations making commitments to increase hiring, uh, to ensure that um, there are across uh, uh, the company org chart uh, leadership, promotions, et cetera. Externally, it's going to work with how they invest, how these companies invest in communities of color, uh, how they ensure that there uh, is diversity and that there is fairness of opportunity in their products um, and ultimately in opportunities to create wealth. Yeah. Um, these efforts uh, by many corporations are certainly to be lauded. But, I, you know, I wonder, Darren, given your experience over time and sort of getting corporations to be more involved, and we've seen it. And we've seen a great many shareholders encourage it in terms of just under the banner of ESG. But I wonder, does it promote some sort of a backlash? And here I'm not talking about this effort specifically, but broadly speaking, this new campaign, for example, from a conservative organization targeting corporations that have spoken out about social justice issues. Is that a concern to you at all? And, you know, what are the conversations like that you're having with CEOs who perhaps face those kinds of issues? That's a great question. And it is definitely a concern. And I think it's really uh, regrettable that the idea of expanding opportunity uh, has become a divisive issue, um, that the idea of diversity, which is at the very heart of uh, our American aspiration, is something that is being criticized. Uh, as a capitalist, I believe there is no better way to organize uh, an economy than through a system of capitalism. But we must have a capitalism that is inclusive and that supports opportunity for all. And the reality that we know from data and research and evidence is that we've had a system of capitalism that has locked out too many. It's not capitalism when you have redlining, uh, when the government and private companies conspire, draw lines around communities and stay off capital from those communities. That's not capitalism. I actually want to give capitalism a, a chance to work for everybody. Darren, I think that's interesting because uh, to David's question, uh, clearly these companies are beginning to feel some heat. A lot of it's been centered around voting rights, uh, Delta and Georgia and so forth. But it doesn't seem to me like there's been any thought about turning tail or any... Um, nervousness about ramifications going forward. If anything, it appears to be that these executives have said we are committed to this and we expect the blowback and we're, and we're not changing course. Is, does, is that borne out in the discussions you're having? Indeed, it is. I think people are committed. And I think, again, they regret that there is blowback. But these are fundamental issues of democracy and our most noble aspirations as a nation. We should be celebrating the idea that more Americans are engaged in our democracy and democratic processes. That should be a reason for all patriots to come together and feel good about America. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.